Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 112. In this segment, I'm not buying a car. Instead, I'm going to use a car that's already in my garage. My Chevrolet Camaro SS 2010. Yeah. And guess what? We get to do it in season play mode. Mustang versus Camaro. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. So, next series. Here's the entry list. Davis is driving the Celine S281, because of course he is. So he's got an almost 50 PI advantage over me, but as I've proven throughout most of the these recent segments, that doesn't really matter. So I think I should be okay here. Plus the S281 is the, uh, the like, more uh, modern generation Mustang, so big fucker. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, that's one reason why Hockenheim was shortened, because of the safety of that track. To uh, the dismay of many, many people. Hooray. Right. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, I'm starting in front of Taylor and the other Camaro. Cool. Works out for me. Looks like Jones is going to, uh, most likely not score any points in this series. He's also like, the only person driving a classic car in this with, you know, the whole classic Camaro and classic Mustang on the cover, or on the poster. Nice. 24 Hours of Lemons has a fi official channel, oh god. That's fantastic. I want to, I want to watch the 24 Hours of Lemons. That'd be a hilarious race. Alright, so, outside pull to Davis' Celine. Can we beat him on the launch? No, we can't. We're about to, but it looks like he's definitely got the power advantage here. Oh, that's right, we're arriving modern muscle cars, so big heavy fuckers. How to do the 24 hour races in GT4? What's the key? Uh, drive the 24 hours? Unless you don't want to, in which case do B spec? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's how you do it. I, I, I really don't know what to say to that question. Ah. Uh. Car is very hoovy. Yes. I see a pile of big car behind me. Oh my god, okay. Struggling a little bit with the sweeper, than again I usually do with in this direction, so nothing out of the ordinary here. Chose one muscle and one JDM car, would they be? Fucking, I don't know. That's way too specific for me to think. I don't, I don't have categories of favorite cars. Or like, favorite cars per specific category. So, I, I can't think about that shit. I just realized this is only five laps around, uh... Maple Valley Short as opposed to six in the past couple series. That's interesting. Oh yeah, that freaking that supercharger on that Celine is freaking loud. I could hear it a lot. Hey, Denny. 
Okie dokie. One lap to go with race one here. Meanwhile, Williams is in sec er, third, knocking Taylor off the podium in the other Camaro. Not sure what Williams is driving. Guess we'll find out in the results screen. I'm kind of too far ahead to uh, see from you. Oh, looks like he's driving a Mustang. He's probably driving the uh, Shelby GT500, I would say. Okay. Oh, there we go. Race one complete. And hey, look, the uh, the only classic muscle car is way in the back. No surprise. Yep, he's driving the GT500, just as I thought. Cool. Oh, so I may be the only Camaro on the podium, but at least I'm on the top step of the podium. So that's good. And then there's Jones in the back in his 1970 man stag. Hey, Bagnall, how's it going? And there we go. So, there's your uh, early point standings, and yeah. Bam, race one down. Three to go, car's up to level one. It'll undoubtedly be level three once we finish all four of these races. Because, you know. So... Let's move on to race number two of Mustang versus Camaro. Which is going to take place at the Ooh, the Iberian circuit. Haven't been to uh here in a while. The only Spanish track we've been to lately is Catalonia. But now we get to go back to Spain for one of the little three pack tracks here. Nice. Now I record the twenty four hour endurances without frying my PS3. And PS2? Well, my PS2 is because it's freaking indestructible, basically. The PS3 because there's a mid-race save option in GT5, which I took full advantage of. But yeah, my PS2... I don't know. My PS2 is just very loyal to me, basically. I mean, it never really got that hot. Like, PS2 has pretty good cooling, at least the, you know, base models. So, I don't know why I'm looking at the starting grade. Let's fucking race. Bleh. Okay. Speaking and not playing, I don't know. Here we go. Race number two, Iberian International Circuit. Off we go. Slim PS2 stop. Reading discs. Have you tried cleaning the lens, or is that a fucking chore and a half on a slim PS2? It's pretty easy because I actually had to clean the lens of my of my PS2, but I have the fat PS2. Thunders. <laughs> so Thunder was playing Horizon, and he actually switched to a traffic car online. Oh. Oh my. Abort, abort, abort. Don't you mean delete? Oh, the disk drive doesn't refuses to spin. Okay, that's a completely different issue then. Excuse me. Excuse me, Davis. Yes, Gran Turismo PSP is on my LP list. So that will happen at some point in my life, unless I die first. Of old age. Okay, I was very old. I was not giving Davis any room. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I see we're having as much fun with the drive tards as, as uh, ever, K-Boys. Okay, Careful. Well, knocked out both of the uh, lens cover things on the rear lights for uh, Davis. Making LP GT PSP. Well, my plan is to, you know, gold all of the driving missions and uh, get an S rank on around all the tracks. That's 
basically how you LP GTPSP. At least how I'm gonna do it. The secret has been revealed. Uh oh. Now you know. And before someone beats me to it, they steal my idea. Take all the glory. That should have been mine. Do I think there should have been a GT for the Vita? Eh, not really. And there definitely won't be, since, since Sony has pretty much completely given up on the Vita, so... Eh, I don't really think a GT game is necessary for the Vita. I mean, in hindsight, it probably would have been a, a decent idea if the Vita wasn't such a colossal failure. But, you know. Oh, my eye itches, holy crap. Or at least the skin around my eye. Ah. Okay, final lap, race two. Going. Pulling away from everybody. And Williams is in front of Taylor again in his GT500. Whoops, I'm going wide. Hello, Grass. How are you? Yeah, I know, right, Q? Vita's issue that smartphones were a thing. Vita's issue is that, um... It just... I don't know. It just wasn't marketed correctly and had a very, very bad launch. Whereas the 3DS had a much better launch and just completely destroyed it. Like, the 3DS just absolutely killed any possible momentum the Vita could have had. Because the 3DS did so well compared to it. So, yeah. Excuse me, holy crap sneeze, how are you today? I won by three seconds. I was also the only person to do a sub one minute lap. Cool. And once again, Taylor gets shoved out of the uh, podium. Damn it. Hooray. And once again, Jones finishes last. Like I said, he's definitely going to be shut out of points. So, everybody finished in the same position that they finished race one in. It's going to be one of those series, alright. Cool. I have a Twitter notification on my phone. I was just reminding about tweets people have made. Okay, I don't care. Anyways. Onwards to the second half of Mustang versus Camaro. We're going to... Oh, boy. We're going to the Catalonia school circuit. Not the national, the school circuit. This is going to be interesting. Because of my, you know, my past issues with this uh, layout of Catalonia. This ought to be interesting. I think I'm going to be starting on the outside heading into turn one as well, which is not, not going to go well, most likely. I don't know. We shall find out. Momentarily. All right, race is loaded. Let's get started. Recently got a PSP Go. Oh, I actually forgot that was a thing. Does this game have Valolonga? No, it doesn't. All right, inside the Camaro. With its cool uh, gauges. Oh, hello. Yes, I was starting on the outside also. Hi, Taylor. Thought for sure I was going to clear Taylor. In fact, I, you know, was just kind of expecting to clear Taylor. Basically, this is a two-horse race. Yeah, I like Valolonga as well. It's a shame it's not in many games, though. Like, there honestly aren't very many games that have that track. Okay, this doesn't look like it's going to be 
an issue at all getting around uh, Davis here. Didn't know that Ricardo got a podium at Belgium. Yeah, he finished second. R Ricardo's been kicking ass lately in F1. It's pretty great, actually. I think I think uh, Red Bull has overtaken Ferrari as second best team in F1 right now. Well, what's even crazier is uh, freaking Force India is basically the fourth best team right now. Force fucking India. Holy crap, what am I doing? Hello, how are you, how are you Davis? <laughs> Thank you for that shunt. Uh, Seto Corsa has uh, Valalunga Cameron. Then again, you know, that's pretty much the home track of Kuno, so... By pretty much, I mean it is the home track of Kuno, so... It makes sense that Valalung is in the game. But yeah, other than that, and Race Driver, there aren't really many games... Many other games that have that track, sadly. Oh, God. But yeah... I think I c the thing that interests me the most about this F1 season is Force India. Because I remember last time I actually was really into F1. Or was able to follow it, I mean. Force India was the backmarker team. Like, they were the worst team in the series. And now, look at them. They're both Hulkenberg and Perez finished on the in the top five. At a... A spa. Yeah, not enough Glen games have Walking Glen either. No, Forza Ford does not have Valolonga. Oh god. Do I like pinball? Eh. It's alright. I used to play shit out of 3D Space Pinball <laughs> when I was younger. You know, that one. The one that every frickin' PC had. I was ass at it, but I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm trying to beat my sister's high score and succeeding. Most of the time. Anyways, we're at the final lap here, and this has been a much easier race than I expected. And again, I'm expecting every race at this configuration of uh, Catalonia to be god-awful. I think as long as I'm not driving a front-wheel drive car, I'll be fine here. And this is definitely no exception. First game I ever played, that's uh, in near impossible for me to answer because I don't really remember. I would say it, it's either Sonic 2 or Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm not sure which one, though. Either one of those two was my first. So, hey, we won. I know, surprise, surprise. Me winning the race, whoa. And everybody's finishing the same spot as they had the previous two races. Come on, Taylor. At least beat Williams in one race. Come on, have at least one Camaro 1 3. You fucker. That's all I ask from you. So, please. Oh well, hopefully we can do it in this last race. Where we're going, I don't frickin' know. <laughs> but we're about to find out. So here we go, final race, Mustang versus Camaro. We're going to, hey, Camino Viejo. So we went to Iberian, and now we're going to Camino for our last race. Cool. Awesome. If only we had also had a Ladera in this series, but... Oh well. And three out of the four races for the series being in this little Spanish three-pack. Probably wouldn't be the best of uh, decisions. Oh well. Oh well. It's fine with me.
All right. This is going to be an interesting uh, final race, especially since we're doing the reverse circuit. Oh, boy. This will be one interesting turn one, I tell you what. The end turn one at Catalonia School was also very interesting. Mostly because I just completely cut off Taylor. Let's see what happens here. We have a little longer, you know, run up to turn one. It's also a run up because we're going to go uphill. But off we go. A big burnout to launch. Going to stay to the left. And Taylor's going to clear me, damn it. Okay, I can get right back around him here. There we go. Now we can focus on getting around Davis. And winning this race. Oh, trying to get that good exit off of here. Get the good run down the hill. Didn't exactly work. He tapped the brakes. Not going to go for a move here. Just going to file him behind him. Take it easy. All right. What's going to happen up this hill? Davis is going to attempt to drive away. That's what's going to happen. Oh shit. This track's pretty. This is Camino Viejo de Monstra. It's a uh, fantasy track. Why I drive Bumblebee? Because I like Transformers. It's okay, Cameron. I too suck at Donington. Donington fucking scares me. I just think, like, I'm going to spin out at all times. Or just go flying into the grass at all times. Okay, that was way too much speed. <laughs> By that I mean that was a larger closing rate than I expected. Also, I like how the odometer says I have 782 miles in this thing. Gotta love the random mileage of these freaking odometers in this game. It's an actual working odometer too, it just like, you know, puts a random mileage number. Because fucking I don't know why. Okay, well, I know I, where I can get around Davis. It's just a matter of positioning my car to where I can actually get alongside him instead of, you know, ramming the, his ass. Ramming the his ass. I love English. It's my first language. Or I could go for a pass here. Actually, no, I'm not going to. He's definitely going to protect the inside there. Slam on the brakes. I ram into the back of him again, get some front end damage again. Oh god, I'm not paying attention. Oh, to the outside, nope. I'm trying my patience, man. Fuck it. Should have done this a long time ago, except not going into the grass. you. Nice copy pasta. Hello, Davis. How are you today? That's fucking right. You relinquished the lead, motherfucker. Also, I think Taylor heard my request, because, uh... He's sitting right there in third place. Kia Camaro 1-3. I know there's not going to be a Camaro 1 2, but hey, two Camaros on the podium, yay! And then I just drive the fuck away. That's how badly he was holding me up through this section. JJ Davis, JJ.
A little sketchy around that last turn. But there we go. Victory is mine. Another clean sweep. Heck yeah. Hooray, right, we got both of the 2010 Camaros on the podium this time. Cool! Now we wait on the rest. Jones in the, like I said, the only classic car of the bunch. Even though both of the poster had, you know, classic versions of both the Mustang and the Camaro. But only one entered into the race in the series. God damn it, game. You and your posters. Your posters are lies. Anyways, there we go. Mustang versus Camaro complete. Camaro wins. Because of me. Oh yeah. Extra 22,000 credits. Nice. Getting closer to going back up to a million. More importantly, we've unlocked race four of the R2 World Championship. Which, of course, we'll be doing in the next segment. So... There we go. Time for race four of R2. Stay tuned for that.